In the drift tutorial, I told you that drift was a solution to a problem called creep. In this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about creep and what it is. Okay, we know that we need to increase our stroke length depending on how much line we've got outside the rod tip. Short line, short stroke, long line, long stroke. Agreed? What happens if we change that stroke length mid cast? Okay, what do I mean? We've got a nice back cast there. We're coming into a drift because we know we need a long stroke, but actually I've crept forward. I've crept forward here. I've not waited for the line to un unroll fully and I've come too soon. It's a hesitance. People don't trust that the line's gonna stay in the air or it quite often happens if people uh, are used to casting with a lot of back casting bushes and trees behind them. They're anxious that the line's gonna catch the bush, so they creep forward and then they hit the forward stroke. It's called creep. Some people have a lot of it. Let me show you what a lot of it looks like. Cast, creep, hit. Cast, creep, hit. Okay, some people have creep in just a very subtle way. Cast, you see that bit? You see that bit there? You say to yourself, Tom, isn't that drift? No, drift is different. This is drift, up and back, up and back, constantly following back to hook a duck. This is creep, bit of drift, oh, but then just moved forward. It's this sort of hesitancy, this anxious feeling that people have in fly casting. Let me show you what it does. It's tailing loop central. Tailing loops are where the line on the forward delivery doubles under itself and creates a sort of mid-air knot, tangles up on itself and it lands in a heap. And I know you must have experienced it. Even you advanced guys, you've experienced it in, in the early days. A lot of people face the problem of tailing loops. And one of the causes is creep. Let me show you what a tailing loop looks like. That is a tailing loop. You see the way the line doubled up under itself and landed in a heap? What happened then was that I made a back cast, crept forward and applied the power way past my face. So I closed the stroke length. What I should have done was drift, back cast, gone backwards and then down. Drift and then down. Drift is the solution to creep. Let me show you what creep does again. You make the back cast and then you creep forward before the line's unrolled on the back cast and then you just sort of hit it too hard and you get this burst of energy. Your stroke length actually starts from here instead of here. You've crept forward and started the stroke, the forward delivery stroke here to here. So you've closed the stroke length. It should be this wide and you've closed it from there to there. And we know from previous tutorials, the longer the line out of the tip of the rod, the longer the stroke. So you actually, for this amount of line, you need this stroke length. There, now I'll creep. See what happened? I crept forward and applied the energy later on in the stroke. So I changed the stroke length from here to here. And what happened was it, created a tailing loop. It actually hit the rod tip on that occasion. A lot of people create creep when they're, oh, I'm gonna catch the trees. For good reason, because they're gonna catch the trees. Okay. So they cast, oh, and they've crept forward. Let me put it sideways. They cast, oh, and they've come forward and then hit it like that. To get out of one problem, they're creating another problem. That's not the solution. In, in the solution of obstructions behind you, very tall ones like this, we're gonna use what's called a steeple cast, which is turn the loop vertical and then fire it down. That's the actual solution to this situation. The solution to creep is drift, 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 drift.